Hi, and welcome back to Purple Color Life. This video was a viewer request. Somebody asked if we could do a video about why we chose the long bed in our F-350 versus the short bed. So this video is gonna be about some advantages and disadvantages to having the long bed on our Super Duty F-350. I did tell you in a previous video that I would be giving updates this winter on regular driving. So there we go. 2,273 miles, averaging 12.8 miles per gallon in winter driving, including warm up and idle time. 16 inches, 16.2 to be exact. That is the difference in wheelbase length and overall truck length between a crew cab with the short bed and a crew cab with the long bed. Now when you look at it, 16.2 inches doesn't seem like a whole lot. Basically just a few inches longer than the length of my foot in my shoe. But when you're driving a truck around, that 16 inches feels surprisingly longer. And when you think about it, 16.2 inches added to an already 20 foot truck doesn't seem like you would notice the difference, but you really do. So if you're deciding between the crew cab long bed or the crew cab short bed of a Super Duty truck, nothing is different right here what you can see in this picture. And really, nothing is different right here what you can see in the picture. From the center of the axle to about the bumper, it's pretty much the same between a short bed and a long bed truck. The difference is all right here. From the center of the axle to the front of the bed where it matches up with the cab. And that difference, like I said, about 16 inches. So this much of the cab, that much of the wheelbase. Now I've mentioned in a couple of previous videos, there are two main reasons that we wanted the long bed on our F-350 truck. So we'll call those two of the advantages we wanted in the long bed. The first one was the fuel tank. When you go with the long bed, whether it's the diesel or the 7.3 Godzilla gas engine, the long bed gets you a 48 gallon fuel tank versus the 34 gallon fuel tank on the shorter bed. Now that is 14 gallons more, so if you're traveling like us right now at 12 miles to the gallon, you can imagine those 14 extra gallons really helps you expand that range. When you're driving in the summertime, we notice a big difference between about 500 miles range to 640-ish miles range, depending on whether or not we're towing. So yes, yeah, specifically when we're towing a camper, making long hauls, we wanted that extra 14 gallons of range in our fuel capacity in the truck. That was probably the number one reason that we went with the long bed. The second reason we wanted the longer bed right here is the puck system for our fifth wheel hitch or the gooseneck ball right here. If you didn't have the long bed, that would all be about 16 inches forward, which would put you right here. We wanted as much distance as possible between the hitch of our fifth wheel trailer and the front of the bed, in other words, the back of the cab. That allows us to make some tighter turns hauling the trailer without worrying about the trailer hitting the cab of the truck. It also gives us more storage here in front of the hitch. So we usually put the generator right here. You can actually see where it was sitting. We put our Honda EU 3000 generator, and then we've got room for you know other supplies we take with us to camp. If you had the hitch clear up here, you don't have much room between here and the generator, and you don't have as much room between the nose of the fifth wheel and the cab of the truck. I should mention the reason that I know that much about the differences between the short bed and the long bed is because for 17 years before we had this truck, we had an F-350 with the short bed, which is about six and three quarter feet. Now we have the F-350 with the full eight foot long bed. So yes, I have experience parking, driving, and towing with both. On 
Obviously, another nice advantage to having the eight foot bed is having more cargo capacity as far as what you can fit in the bed. You can fit full eight foot long sheets of OSB, drywall, two by fours. Um, you can fit 10 feet pieces to the back of the tailgate. So you can fit more in the bed, especially with the tailgate up. We definitely noticed that difference this summer when we got this truck bed full of mulch. We were able to haul quite a bit more mulch in the eight foot bed than we could in the six and three quarter foot bed. Another nice advantage is if you're hauling an ATV, we can fit easily our Honda Foreman four-wheeler with the snow plow on it in the bed length now, rather than before if we'd haul the, the four-wheeler with the snow plow on, we'd always have to leave the tailgate down in our old F-350. Now I had heard other people say this, but I hadn't experienced it until I had the long bed pickup truck. And then I thought back to when I had some Broncos or even when I've driven the Jeep. So the longer wheelbase does make towing a little bit better. It's a smoother ride, especially on the interstate. It's nice to have a longer wheelbase in front of the object that you're towing. It just feels like it's a little bit smoother ride and it feels like you've got a little bit more control. I've also noticed when you're backing up, especially into a camp spot, the longer wheelbase makes making slight adjustments a little bit better than the shorter wheelbase like on a Bronco or a Jeep. Now let's talk about some disadvantages to the long wheelbase. Yes, this is long. This is over 22 feet the entire length of the truck. The short wheelbase version, the short bed version would be just over 20 feet. So yeah, that 16 inches makes a pretty big difference when you're pulling into a parking spot, when you're navigating through tight turns, especially in parking areas or parking garages. This truck will not fit in an automatic car wash. Our old truck would. Just that additional length makes it a little bit too long for an automatic car wash. Because of the additional length of the wheelbase and the overall length of the truck, the turning radius on this is about five feet longer. So the short bed truck can turn in about 26 feet turning radius. This truck takes about 30 point some feet. So about five feet longer turning radius. And what we found is we have a favorite camp spot we always enjoy going to. This truck is a lot more difficult almost impossible to get the camper into that spot because there are trees along the roadway where I'm backing and swinging my front end in. It is an extremely tight situation with that additional 16 inches and that additional longer turning radius to get the camper angled back into that spot. So that is definitely another downside is the additional length making it more difficult to get into some of those hard to back into spots. So there you go, like I said, viewer request some of the advantages and disadvantages of the longer wheelbase. The biggest disadvantage is parking. This thing is hard to find a spot to park in. The nice advantage is that 48 gallon fuel tank, the longer bed length for hauling things and for more distance between the cab of the truck and the fifth wheel cap of the camper. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you have other things that you can think of that are advantages or disadvantages to having a long bed behind your already long crew cab truck, Leave those comments down below. Hopefully that helps out other people who are trying to decide between the long bed or the short bed option. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative and entertaining, please give us a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to leave those comments and hopefully we'll see you again the next time. I actually had to clear a couple things out of the garage to be able to fit this truck in the same spot that the old truck used to fit. Just because that additional 16 inches and then I usually have a hitch in the back, so I had to clear some stuff out of the front of the garage so to leave some walking room in front of the truck when this is parked inside the garage stall.
Yes, 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 yes.